All right, welcome back to another installment of Prep Talk with Tyrell. What's going on, it's Desmond. What's going on, it's Marcus. And we have the superstar <laughs> out of Oakleaf, Mr. Larry Smith Jr. What's going on, man? Good. Yes, How doing? good, good, good. So first off, Larry, since the last time we talked, um, you're a committed man now, committed to uh, to Indiana yes, University. So let's uh, let's first tell you congratulations you. on that. Congratulations on your commitment, and uh, you know that's that's huge. Um, kind of just kind of run down why you chose Indiana over you know Old Miss and some of these other uh, schools. Um, I just I just felt like they um they kept it real. They kept they, they kept it authentic with me, you know. Um, coach ain't really holding nothing back. Uh, they've been a hundred ever since they offered me, so you know, showed me the most love, and I just I just felt like home. I felt like that was the place for me to be. Right. So, awesome. Awesome. Make my mark there. Absolutely. So where um, where just a question I had where where do they see you playing um in that defense um what wh where at in the back end because you, uh, you play every. Yeah, sir. Uh, they uh, they they want me to play corner. Uh, that's that's mainly what they want me to play. First year, they say they want me to come in and play a corner. Okay, awesome. Desmond, did you have any questions about that? Yeah, I was just about to say. Uh, after looking at your film, some of the notes I had was ball hawk, elite ball skills. Um, did you ever play receiver or play some offense at some point? I see you. Uh, you got a good eye for the ball and <laughs> good coordination. <laughs> Um, I played um, quarterback in Little League when I was like 12, and I, I, before that, I played receiver prior to that. So um, I, play, I played more quarterback than receiver, though. So, gotcha. so you got I, I learned how to catch from playing receiver. Yeah. yeah. So, but that, the quarterback back yes, definitely shows up, you know, you film the way you can kind of see routes, uh, you know, happening in front of you, and you kind of mm -hmm. the awareness of the field and, and what the play fact, is. Fact. Um, so, so I definitely think that's uh, going to be critical. So, being able to play corner, is it, is it like nickel corner, outside boundary corner? What do they see you at? Nickel? Um, uh, nickel corner. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I, so I think it's yeah, – That's really going to have me at. Yeah, being around the action, being around the ball, being able to use your instincts to make plays. So, I definitely see that uh, – seeing you being successful in that role, man, for sure. Most definitely. Um, I saw that – I, I saw, appreciate it. I saw a pick that you had um, – I think you were playing safety. Um, it was like it was like one of the, you, you jump. You know what I mean? You jump way back. What, what, what game was that? Was that a? Uh... Yeah, man. Uh, that was recent. That was the last game. Okay. Last game we just played um, against University of Christian. Okay. Um, it was like uh, I say third quarter, um, like third down. Yeah. And it, this it was like a play that they always run when they need like a big play. So I just, I just already knew what time it was when I seen uh, the motion man. So I just read the quarterback after that and it was, it was go time. So that's film study. That's film right there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So you were but but on that play it looks like you were playing safety. Yes, yeah, sir. I was at safety, um, free safety. Okay. So that so um another thing I wanted to kinda kinda touch on was um we know you were at Lee last year. Um, and you're in, and now you're at Oakleaf. So how are they using you differently at Oakleaf and kind of how, you know, how, how did you, you know, how does that suit your skills? Um, Cause it seems like they love to play. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, it's pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, they give them my freedom, you know, uh, let me do what I do. But, but at the same time, they, they still own me at the same time. You know, they, they, they expect me to do great. So that's, that's, that's mainly what I'd be striving to do, you know, just, just live up to the hype, really. Most definitely. I'm sorry, I was on mute. Speaking of that, um, kind of, you know, being able to live up to the hype, what was what was something from last year uh, that you wanted to improve on um, that you really worked hard on, maybe during the offseason or during the, you know, the quarantine and the pandemic that you kind of brought to your skill set with you this year uh, over the Oakley? Um, mainly was I wanted to get more picks, like, like, like for like, I felt like last year I could have had way more interceptions. So that's one thing I like started. I, I I pride myself on getting interceptions. Like I got I gotta at least try to double what I did last year. Like that's that's one of my goals for real. So you shoot for ten. That's like my main goal. 
Yeah, I need I need ten. I need ten. <laughs> Save some for the fifth. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a big accomplishment, man. And, and you definitely got the ball skills and skill set to, to accomplish it. So I'm looking forward to looking forward to that. Uh you accomplishing that for sure. Most definitely. Um yes, so sir, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. So just we also just wanted to touch on um so talk about your team's two and one start, man. So you guys kind of had the, that that second game. That was that that was the big one um, when you guys played Lounge. Um, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about that. We we really wanted to come catch that game. We couldn't make it out, but just kind of tell us about the ebbs and flows of that game and kind of how that game went for people who who weren't at the game. Oh, it was a crazy one, man. It's probably one of the loudest games of the season for us, for real, for real. Uh, yeah, they got a big stadium, but um, as far as the game, like uh, it was just a lot of um, we we was just beating ourselves. Like it wasn't necessarily them beating us. It was it was more so of us like like mental mistake, mental errors. And you know, like when you playing a good team, the mental errors like really count because you know they're gonna capitalize on those. So, Most definitely. You know, it, we was just we just got hit in the mouth, but but we definitely definitely prepared now. Though um, that that was a game that really like. Tuned us up like we really needed that game. I remember I'm real thankful for that game. Battle that came so early, so now now we really prepared. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. So you feel Got like a chip on our shoulder for real? And I can tell. So so um so you feel like they kind of just got out on y'all quick, and um and you guys kind of just never recovered in that game. But you guys learned a lot from that game. Yeah, man. Uh, we we tried to get it going, but by the time we by the time we got it going, it was too late. Right. For a quarter, it was, it was over with then. So. That's how it happens, most definitely. Just going to learn from it. Most definitely. And uh, Desmond, did you have any 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 kind of specific questions that you wanted to ask Larry? Yeah, I was going to say, speaking of that with, with the Lions game, uh, how was that playing in that atmosphere? Um, did that feel kind of like a college football game for you? Um, and, 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 you know, what was that, what was that experience like for you? Uh, that was probably the biggest crowd I ever played in high school. Like, it felt, felt amazing. Like, like, it was just like, it was like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was just like that atmosphere, you know. It was, it was yeah. new for me, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I know it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those stadiums, especially um, in the South, that, you know, primetime high school football, um, especially big time Georgia football. So I know that's that's mm -hmm. one I stated if I haven't been or something I experienced. So I definitely wanted to hear how that was. Um so with that with your team, you know, being able to kind of bounce back from that and get a win last week. Um uh, what's kind of what's the what's the mindset of the team going forward, y'all? Um how do you you know what <clears throat> what do y'all think as far as your chances for for competing for a state championship? Uh I feel I feel like they're very high. Um we we got we got the weapons to make it for sure. Uh, we just gotta come together and, and just tighten up the little things. You know, it's the little things that count for real, for real. So as long as we as long as we tighten those up, we definitely got a shot of going to state for real. That, that, I feel like I feel like Lounge was the best team we're gonna play for the rest of the year. You were so, you were, you were cutting out you were cutting out a little bit, but we caught the gist of what you said. So you feel like Lowndes is probably the best team that y'all are going to play on your schedule, minus the playoffs right now. So, and, and that's and and that's kind of the benefit of, of of playing a team like that so early in the season. You catch that momentum, even if it's even if it was a loss, it taught y'all a lot about, you know, okay, this is what we got to do. We got to start fast, um, and everything like that. So. Um, most definitely, yeah. I think. I definitely, definitely. I think you guys. Um, you know, I think the sky's the limit. I mean, you guys got a, a superstar quarterback on the other side. Um, he can run. He can pass. Just talk a little bit about. Um, you know, your your, your teammates and kind of your. You guys, in my opinion, you guys, I feel like have a full team. You know what I mean? Like, if there was if there was a team that could make it out. Yeah, definitely. You guys have a full, complete team. You know, you can you can hurt a team from all aspects. And um, so just talk about some of your teammates and kind of some For of the real. things you're seeing from them. Um, uh, let's say uh, from an offense, offensive perspective, um, 
Kobe Bates, uh, he's just he's just an outstanding playmaker. You know, get him the ball, he's gonna take it. He's gonna score. Like you get him the ball, he's gonna score. Um, Terrence Alwat, you know, um, he's he's definitely a regard. You know, he he's definitely a dog. Uh, like you said, Trey Trey definitely superstar. You know, uh, he 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 definitely play a big part in the offense. Um. Got a lot of running backs, you know what I'm saying? We keep fresh legs, um, Aid, Devin, and um, Mike, you know, but they definitely be doing their thing. So uh, on defense, defensive side of the ball, uh, our corner, Zay, he, he like, he more so our, our aggressive corner. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he got he got a lot of tackles, you know, he real he real big outside, you know, he, he can contain the outside for real. Um, Trey Thomas, uh, our safety, he got, he got two picks as of right now. You know, he, he a good ball also. You know, as I see – he play, he play like me a little bit. Yeah. Um, he real good in the second. Uh, and that, and our linebackers are you know perfect. That's, you know that's um, not to cut Devin. you off. Not to cut you off, but you know that that's kind of what happens when, um, you know, when you bring that pedigree, you know, you make everybody else better around you. And yeah, yeah. You show them what that what that looks like. Definitely. It turned the savage up. Yes, most definitely. Go, yeah, continue. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> Uh, it's just got um we got uh Devin, Devin he's a big hitter in that middle. Um, Marcus he can cover and fill gaps. Uh, Sellers he's he's just he's a he's the perfect nickel. You know what I'm saying? He can tackle, he can cover. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tackle great, great in space. Uh, Daryl Livingston, he just he just locked down. Uh, he he real he real chattery. He got a mouth on him, so yeah. He always in on the receiver's head. He know how to back it up too. So. I really like our defense overall. You know, got a great D line, great O line. They be holding their own. So okay. we de we definitely trying to we definitely trying to make it happen. We definitely trying to go to state for real. And, and uh, that's the goal. A, that's that, that's that's awesome. Um, and it's great that you give your teammates love like that, man. You can definitely see it. You know what I mean? It definitely shows up on tape. Um, mm -hmm. Just talk about um, talk about. Lost my train of thought here. What was I gonna say? Um, just talk about kind of the, you know, what I was going to say was I came to see you guys uh, last year. Um, you weren't on the team then, but I came to see them uh, when they played Mandarin. And it looks like they had, you know, it looked like they had pieces. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they had Trey. Um, defense probably need a little bit of work. But you guys had, you guys, they looked like, you know, they were a few pieces away. Now you got those pieces. Yeah. And it's a totally different team. And you know, a team that can do some damage. So, um, you know, we're here to talk about sure. you, you guys obviously have uh, Camden County coming up. Um, you know, basically you guys have this, have the same record. Um, kind of talk about what you've seen from Camden County on tape and, and, um, and what you're expecting from them. Um, I'm expecting them to try to get the ball out very fast. They they like they like to hit right now routes. They they not really too well in the deep threats, but when they do go deep, it's it's mainly double moves. You know, they just they just they just just gonna try to deceive us. You know, uh, try to get try to catch us sleeping. That's all. So we just got we just gotta be alert for real for real. Really, just just shut down. I feel like we shut down the run. And they gotta throw the ball. It's gonna be go time. Then, then, we, then we definitely gonna shut them out. As long as, as long as we get them to start running the ball, we gonna win the game. For some For real. to go like here. That. As long as we do that, we gonna win the game. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's what we trying to do. A lot of that confidence, man. That's what it's they about. They definitely run a lot of screens, bro. Definitely, definitely. You gotta have confidence. You gotta believe in the D. Exactly. You got to. Exactly. I love that confidence, man. That's 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 what's gonna you know be able to help take you to that next level and be successful at the next level. So um I love it. And speaking of that, what um as far as the next level, back to <clears throat> as far as you playing cornerback, have you already started, you know, preparing for that transition? Are you doing more one on ones in practice? Um, you know, working kind of on, on, on man covers, on cover skills. What are you doing to prepare for that transition over the cornerback? I know you got the confidence for it. Um <laughs> so yeah. Yes, sir. So. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, um, on the, uh, I train with nine figures. Uh, this is my own um, training. So we, we, every Sunday we get in the lab, we do DB drills, you know, um, main, mainly cornerback specific, specific. Shout we just, shout out, shout we just, out. uh, train, train on that for that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely shout out nine figures for sure. 
Major love, major love. Uh, so yeah, we just we just be getting it in, you know. That's my training. He's been training me for a long time since I was like in eighth grade. So if nobody know me, he definitely know me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Got, they got a they got a, they got a new facility as well. You know I mean? Yeah, you got an indoor facility on um, turf and sand, y'all. Tell the boys tap in, man. It's worth <laughs> yes, it. Sir. It's worth it. Nine figures, man. Go check out nine figures. Go ahead, Des. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. So yes, yeah, just just getting so sound like you're working on your feet, getting your feet right, um, you know, and, and really getting that, mm -hmm. really getting that speed and, and kind of and footwork down, of, you know, for the next level. So I'm excited to see that transition, man. I, I really think you'll be successful at it. Absolutely, definitely. Is that, is, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, is is that something that you uh, maybe talk to the coaches about, maybe try during the season at some point, or is that something that y'all uh, take it with like a special package, maybe playing you at corner early? Uh, you you saying um at, at Oakleaf? Yeah, at Oakleaf have you talked about? Or at, 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 yeah, yeah, at Oakleaf have you talked about you know potentially playing corner in a certain package or trying it out maybe in practice, maybe in the game to, to kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, on um, yeah, just like, like emer emergency cases, you know, like like he, the, the, the receiver just that great, you know, and and nobody can stop him. They're definitely going to send me to him. I'll, I'll just be following him around. We have packages to where like um I'll follow the best receiver, so awesome. You just awesome. just got a game plan and see how it goes. Yes, sir. Love I like that. that. I'm Love looking to forward that. to it. <laughs> Most definitely. Um, so I guess yes, I'll, um I'll be guarding uh the best receiver tonight. I mean on um, Friday night. Who's their best? Okay. Who's their best know. receiver? Uh, so far we say number eight is their best receiver. I don't know his name, but that's who they like to get the ball to. Number eight. Number eight. All right. We take. I'll be sticking on. We taking notes, man. We're gonna be live in effect. We're gonna we're gonna be live in effect. So um. Yes, sir. Um. So I just just wanna wanna kind of switch gears. Um. Just to kind of um kind of wrap. Um. You know we know it's not easy these days in the, in the climate that we're living in, right? And um, there's so much going on, and and, and you know kind of football is a way to get away from all of that right and a kind of way of a way to be with your brothers and Definitely. you know you work towards the same goal every week you know on friday nights to, to get that w right um just kind of talk about you know how uh, how, yes, how you guys are navigating that you know how as a team like you know is is there open you know conversation is is that something that you guys talk about amongst yourselves just um coming to get, you know coming closer together during during times like these uh, yeah, um, team bonding was definitely a huge thing uh, when the pandemic first hit. You know, we had to all stay together, you know what I'm saying, keep, keep the team chemistry. So, uh, like, I will say when the pandemic first hit, um, we used to train every day um, at phase one part by our school. We used to just all get together and train every day, you know, just, just staying intact with each other. You know what I'm saying? It's it's always the brotherhood before anything. So, I mean, if y'all not if y'all not close, you can't expect to want to win games because you know nobody got your back. Who got who got who back? So, right. that's that's definitely something we uh, pride ourselves on. We all we always a family before anything. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, just to just to kind of piggyback on that as well. Um. What's what's your motivation these days, Larry? What what is your motivation to to get to that next level? Because I mean, it's pretty much here. Are you are you enrolling in uh, in January? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm trying to get out of here already. Yes, sir. That's, okay. that's, so that's, so you're you're essentially you got less than four months. You know what I mean? You, you're three. You got three months left of high school essentially. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're, you're yeah. Your mindset is already. You know, you, you're not you're not somewhere else. But you know, you're that's in the back of your mind right um just talk about yes, what, what's your motivation you know what i mean uh these days to kind of keep going and, and persevere uh really just uh seeing all the poverty around me you know people struggling yeah. you know what i'm saying just, it's really just seeing my family struggle too you know having having I, I just know i got a way like i got a way to feed my family i got a way to like take us out of this, you know, it's, it's a better life ahead of us. You know, like, if I just do it, just, if I just do what I have to do, I can, I can take, I can take care of a lot of people. So 
that's really my motivation. I just, I just want to do it for my family. Definitely. And, yeah. and, Larry, and Larry, I've always, ever since I met you, uh, you know, when I did that, when I came and did that interview uh, with you guys at Lee, I just always got that vibe from you, man, that genuine vibe, that hardworking vibe. I mean, you're about your business. Um, I really think you're going to be, the, I really think you're going to be that guy, man, honestly, coming out of this city. I, I, I have full confidence yes. in you. I've seen you play stand up kid on and off the field. Um, just keep that mentality, man. I mean, right. you're great, man. Honestly. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Man. Keep, that, keep that same mindset and, and that hard work and work ethic, man. And, and sky's the limit. I'm looking forward to you. Remind me of a player that uh, I coached that actually went to Indiana, just graduated in 2017, uh, Tony Fields. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to watching. Awesome. I, I got to look him up. I got to see what he's talking about. Yeah, he went, he, he went to God be uh, – so he's another Florida boy, the Florida safety that went to Indiana. So, uh, so yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, I'm excited for you, man. Well, we're, uh, we're definitely excited for you, like he said. Um, we can't wait for Friday. We'll be out there in full effect, um, be out there pregame. We'll talk to you, talk to okay. your teammates, see what's going on. But, um, again, man, we just want to really thank you for joining us. Um, again, prep talk with uh, KBV Sports our weekly installment. We have Larry Smith Jr., superstar at Oak Leaf. Plays everything on the back end. Thank you, superstar. Yes, thanks sir. for joining us, man. Thanks, thanks, Larry. We appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. We'll appreciate y'all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you. Have a great night and a great week, and uh, we'll see you game day. Yes, sir. Y'all right. too. Y'all be safe. Yes, Thank sir. You, you too. Take care.